you're new at using Google Meet, or maybe you're evaluating Google Meet to be your future video conferencing tool, well then this video is for you. I'm Chanel Greco from Paris, and in this video I'll show you the basics of Google Meet. Hey, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button because twice a week we publish video tutorials about Gmail, Google Meet, Google Drive, etc. As of May 2020, you don't need a G Suite account in order to use Google Meet. If you have a Google account because, let's say, you have a Gmail email address, then you, that's all you need to use Google Meet. Now, in my case here at Saperis, I use G Suite, and that's what you'll be seeing in this video tutorial. But it'll look exactly the same way if you're not using G Suite and just have a regular Google account. Here we see Jane Example's Google Chrome browser. And if we were to want to access Google Meet from here, we have two possibilities. We can either click on this icon and click on Meet. It opens up. Or what we also could do, let's open up a new tab. And let's just start writing meet.google.com. And then we also end up in Google Meet. So you have these two possibilities. Good. So let's say we want to start. Oops, I clicked on the keyboard. Let's say we want to start a new Google Meet conference call. Well, just click on join or start meeting. Give it a name. We'll call it um, demo. And we click on continue and our call starts. And the first thing you see is you get to check yourself. So you get to check, is your hair right? Is the background okay or whatever? And <clears throat> you also see these three lines here indicating that my microphone is on. I could also turn it off if I wanted to. Um, my video, I can turn off the camera. You'll still hear me. And I also have the possibility to check for the settings. So in my case, I have um, an external microphone, but I could also use my MacBook built-in microphone, my webcams microphone. So it's really up to me what I want to use. And here again, you see my microphone is on and the signal is good. And the speakers, the same. You have multiple um, possibilities as long as you have multiple devices connected to your notebook in that for me, that is the case. If you were to click on test, you would hear a little sound going off just to test if your speakers are on. Here in video, we have the same possibility of choosing the different cameras. So let me switch over to my face HD, my, uh, my notebooks camera, here you see it. So let's go back to our webcam, that's nicer. And here we have our resolution. So I'm on the maximum resolution. You could also lower the standards. Let's say you maybe not have a, a big, uh, a lot of bandwidth. So you could do that. Let's click on done. Okay, so you're all set up. It's all working the way you expect it to. Now let's actually join the meeting or enter the virtual meeting room. And we do so by clicking on join now. And here we get some information. So if we want to invite somebody to our meeting, to our conference call, which we most likely want to do, we could send them this information. So you see here, they can also dial in with their phone. Um, if I were to give them or to send them this information, or of course the HTTPS, the link, the URL that they will use that they click on and then they enter um, our conference call, or you could add somebody, let's say, I were to add Craig, for example, I would just click on it and Craig would get an email. Let's just simulate that. Let's do that. Okay. So I'm here in our conference call already, and there's a pretty neat feature. Turn captions on. How do captions work? Ah, not bad. 
Okay, so we'll turn it off. You might want to use that if somebody's joining and might not be able to, to listen in, but they could actually read what you're saying. So that's a pretty reliable functionality that we have there. Here, of course, the basics, you turn on and off your microphone. Um, this is where if we wanted to leave the call, end the call, we could turn off our camera if we don't want people to see us. And this is very interesting. Present now. Now, very often in a conference call, you want to be presenting something to your audience. Let's say I want uh, a window. I want to present the window. I have a second window here prepared. So I am now sharing explicitly this presentation that I have in a separate window prepared. Uh, where is it? Here you go. So I'm now presenting this to the people who are in this conference call. Okay. Oops. That's not what I wanted to do. Here you go. And once I'm done, all I have to do is stop presenting. What I very often use when I'm in a call with someone and we're talking maybe about a document or something online, I can send them the link. So I can send the message here. Oops, here you go. So we can actually chat and send each other information while we're in this conference call. And you'll of course also have the possibilities of, here you go, working on your settings. So let's say you're already in the call and you notice that something's not good or something's off with your mic or with your video. So you can change that here. Let's finish that out. Um, here are the details. So if you're already in the conference call with someone else and they say, oh, you know what? Um, Mike really needs to join this call. Well, from within this call, you can invite a person and let's say attachments, if you would have created a calendar invite and you would have joined from that calendar invite and in that calendar invite, there would have been attachments. Well, they will pop up here. You would see them. But I would say I'll, I'll make a different video for that, a separate video where I go over how you can re and schedule uh, a video call in Google Meet in advance and send it out as a calendar invite. So that was, or those were the basics. Um, how do we end the call? Well, there's this big rep button down here. If I click that, then that's it. My call's finished. And those were the basics. Do you have questions concerning Google Meet? Well, if so, then please leave me a comment below and I'll get back to you and um, have fun collaborating with Google Meet.